Hey guys, what's up? It's Shadow from Prior Realism, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install RHS Escalation from Red Hammer Studios. I know this mod is a bit difficult to install as it is not on Steam, and so I figured I'd make a video to let you guys know how to do it. Let's jump right into it. First, you're going to want to make a folder. You're going to label it RHS for Red Hammer Studios, or whatever. You're going to go to your favorite web browser and you're going to um, go type in RHS Escalation and you'll see RH mo rhmods.org I will have the link in the description of course and you're going to download these three files oh, I can't see it okay so I got that one now I need this one and this one Okay, now you're going to go over here and you're going to make three new folders. Oops, you're not going to go in that way. You're going to rename it and you're going to put the at symbol AFR, oh, AFRF. Next folder, you're going to do the at symbol USAF. And the next one, you're going to do at GREF. Okay, now you're going to go into the first one and it is the AFRF and you're going to copy you're going to extract these into here and you can close it now we'll do the US AF which is now at the bottom okay now we're going to do GREF Okay, we're going to start with the AFRF. You're going to run the update.bat. Uh, if you have Linux, I I don't think the mods will work for you. You'll have to download them through FTP. What's the information is in here, I believe. Either way, it's up it's up here. If you didn't see it. Anyway, what this is doing, it's downloading the mod through the bat. And this is not the download speed. It's downloading the specific file in the mod. So it's downloading the RHS airport. Okay? It's downloading all of these specific ones in here. Okay? And there's going to be a lot. And it, it'll give you an ETA. So this one's going to take about 70 seconds. It's not very accurate. Um, it, once it's done downloading, it will close automatically. I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to download it again and then you're going to go to the next one and do the exact same you're going to let it go okay then you're going to do the next one okay now you're going to go ahead and go back into this where you see all three with the at symbols you don't need that anymore then you're going to go to Steam games play oh, for armor 3 okay and you're gonna go to options launcher options you're gonna go to mod options and you're going to click add armor 3 folder if you already have it added or it might be automatically added you'll see this location in and you're going to follow that there normally your location is here you go to C drive program files and then you'll see steam mine is not like that I have mine installed to an alternate drive so steam once you find your steam folder you go to steam steam apps common then you're going to go to arma 3 and you'll see you'll see this stuff you'll see this workshop folder if you don't, that's no big problem. You'll see uh, underscore comms, com common, whatever. Then add-ons, battle eye, all of that. You're going to scroll down until you see arma3.exe. And you're going to open up this folder, the RHS folder. And you're going to highlight these three. And you're going to drag it into the far right where it says copy to arma3. Not where it says open with arma3. You want it to say copy to arma3. Okay, and you're going to drag that in there. 
it will not ask you to replace anything I repeat it will not ask you to replace anything I already have the mod installed so once that's done you're gonna to wanna to go to mods and you're gonna scroll down until you find it there'll be some green text to the right saying that the mod has been auto included and you will check it to the right so for example um, you check the box right here and I'll move it up and you're gonna click play and when you get to the main menu you should see uh, a prompt but uh, that's it if you have any help go ahead and hop on to this team speak right here go pop into shadows channel I'll be more than willing to help you um, I'll probably have you download this uh, file right here from team viewer it'll allow me to take a look at what's going on on, on your side uh, it'll allow me to control my computer if you want and of course you're able to end this at any time um, yeah then that's it if you have any questions let me know I'll put any of the links in the description I'll put the TeamSpeak IP in there but uh, thanks for watching don't forget to come